Hi, 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 everyone. And th first of all, thanks to all the hackers and the organization to to devote your time to this hackathon to tackle COVID. Uh, first, to, to explain the challenge, I would like you to listen uh, to, to, the, to two audios. Uh, let me share a uh, uh, stop. Uh, and now. <coughs> okay, so that would be a regular cough, and the second audio. Yeah, if, that's an, an, another cough. If we uh, listen at them carefully, maybe you can play them again. <coughs> that's what we that's what we call a, a wet cough and a dry cough. <coughs> You can you can you, you can listen that it has like a kind of metallic sound. It the, so it turns out that the first calf corresponds to a person that tested negative for COVID, and the second calf uh, corresponds to a person. Uh, sorry, the first one corresponds to a negative, and the second one to a positive uh, COVID. So slide. The the challenge that we propose is helping uh, building an automated system that helps to distinguish which which type of uh, cough uh, you have. In this slide, uh, you can see the general architecture of, of, the, of the system that we envision. So the user can record the, um, the, the audio using the, the cell phone, and this audio is sent to, to a server. In, in this server, the, uh, the algorithm runs and outputs a, a prediction. This prediction is sent back to, to the user, and also it's sent back to, it's sent to the health system so they can uh, the system the health system can take care of action uh, required action. Since we are using a, a cell phone, we can also interact with the with the user using uh, a chatbot, and we extract we can extract or we can ask for additional information such as age, uh, gender, medical conditions that might be relevant for us. So we can still get the audio and also get uh, additional information. So. To, to slide, please. So to to work on this challenge, we provide you with uh, two different data sets. The first data set that we call label uh, data set is uh, from a Cosbara project, and this is a very interesting data set because we have a different um, subjects, different individuals that uh, uh, gave uh, the audios, the coughs, but we also have uh, additional metadata for uh, every participant. So we have the recordings of, of them, but also information such as gender, age, and, medic and different medical conditions. We have 77 uh, different uh, subjects, and each subject recorded uh, different cuffs and also different audios, um, like uh, um, counting and vowels and so on. We also have uh, asymptomatic uh, positives in this data set, and uh, more than a thousand uh, negative, uh, uh, pos uh, negative uh, uh, recordings or recordings that correspond to negative uh, uh, tests. The first thing that uh, you you might want to to work on is making sure that your algorithm, the the algorithm that works uh, that discriminates the different types of coughs. Um, works on uh, audios that are actually cough. So we also provide a second uh, data set with coughs audios, uh, but we don't know if they correspond to positive or negative uh, people. And uh, also um, different audios that can be recorded by mistake or noisy uh, audios that can be recorded, recorded with, with the cell phone. So to make sure that the uh, algorithm uh, works with uh, uh, cough uh, audios only. So to build, uh, to work on, on this project, you can um, make use of the data that we provide, but you are free to, to look on the internet and get uh, more data to make the, the system more, more robust. And then you are, you, to build the, the, the automated system, to, to me, to build the, the machine learning uh, uh, tool, 
you can work with the with a features in the time domain you can also work with features in the frequency domain you can also work with uh, raw data and input this raw data directly to to your network basically you are free to explore any uh, approach that uh, you might think that uh, might work in, in this problem so yeah yeah it's the the challenge is um to think uh, uh, to build a creative uh, solution that helps us to discriminate these you know, different uh, costs. And basically, that's it. Uh, good luck to all of you. Lots of energy for this weekend and good luck to everybody.